Hi, everyone. Welcome to Come Knit, Relax, and Chat. My name is Deborah, and thank you for jumping on. Uh, as you can see, I'm in my car. In my car, waiting for husband. Uh, he's at a doctor's appointment. So you know that now with the pandemic and everything, every you can't go in with the patient. Uh, so you have to either they go by themselves, or like we do, we go with each other and we wait in the car. And guess what I brought with me? I bring it everywhere. I brought my knitting. And I'm in the process of starting. I finished the one. And I'm in the process of starting another one. And I just wanted to check in with everybody and see how you're doing. Are you staying safe? Uh, today is the first full week of school for my grandkids. I have two grandsons. I have one that is 10 and one that is 16. And they started their uh, school today. And the where my daughter lives, she was given an option of whether they would go to the physical school or stay home and do online school. And she chose to keep them home for right now. So in her county, they were given nine-week increments. So like for the nine weeks, you make a decision. You had to stay with that decision for nine weeks. And she chose at home. So she has, she's, I'm looking to see if that's my husband. It's not. She actually took her living room and made it into a schoolhouse. Uh, the fifth grader has his desk. The 11th grader has his desk. And everything will be online. So they all have their own teachers. They're sign in. She actually works from home. So she is going down in the basement at one of the extra bedrooms. And she's turning that into her office. So that, and they pack their lunch. So they pack their lunch just like they were going to school. So when it's lunchtime, they can go get their lunch. And uh, the planning has gone well because... The shock has gotten over, reality has set in, and life goes on. And that's the key to that's the key to staying positive. Like I always say, you cannot change what you can't change. We cannot get rid of the fact that we had a pandemic. We're in the midst of a pandemic that has touched everybody in the whole world. That we can't change. Now, we could sit around and debate and argue and call each other's names like I see on social media uh, as much as we want to. That's not going to change anything. You know, the ones that wear masks are called stupid for wearing the mask. The ones that don't wear a mask are getting beat up by the ones that wear a mask. You're doing nothing but making yourself look ridiculous. I had another word, but I'll use look ridiculous. So we have to really, really focus on what we can control. And the one thing that we can control is our reaction and how are we going to build our lives Thus far, it is um, August is almost over. What are we going to do to have a peaceful, productive, prosperous life during all the chaos around? Yes, I am hot. I don't have my air condition on because it makes up too much um, noise in the audio. But we can only control what we can. So that's where all my focus has been for many, many months. My focus has been on what I can control, and that is to have a peaceful, prosperous home. And my home consists of my husband and myself, and I have a son and two cats. That's my immediate home. And then I help my daughter with her home, encouraging her, giving her positive words, keeping her positively 
focused that and encouraging her she can do this. You know, it's a lot. Yes, she has to pay the bills by working from home. And she's been working from home for years. This is not new to her. She's not one of the ones that all of a sudden was stuck at home with the kids. But she's been working from her home for over 10 years. So she knows the the positive and the negatives from working from home. The problem is working from home with the children. And hers are older. So, you know, that's my goal. And focusing on how we are going to rebuild our lives during the chaos. How are we going to rebuild our lives during all this detrimental stuff? How are we going to rebuild our life while people are falling by the wayside on our right and our left all around us? We can debate all day what's factual, who's telling us the truth, who isn't telling us the truth. But one thing for sure, people have gotten affected. And that's something I try not to forget. People have lost loved ones because of this virus, period. Oh, and I know you could say, well, People die of the flu, they die of the cold and stuff. But no, this is a pandemic. This means this virus has touched someone all over the globe. So it's not just the flu. So, you know, I encourage you to do, figure out what you need to do to stay positive. And in the process of staying positive, you can build the life around this virus. Because as you can see, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. People are still getting sick. It's still out there. And um, some days we don't know what to do. To stay in, go out, stay in, go out. What in the world should we do? Wear a mask, not wear a mask. Should we wear a hazmat suit? What should we do? But my Bible tells me If I want wisdom, I have to ask for wisdom. And when I made the decision to live, um, what do I want to say, a Christian life? Not just go to church, but to live the life. When I read that in the Bible, I was like, hmm. It's not about asking God for things money, cars, so on, vacation. He said in Proverbs, he asked for wisdom. And God gave him wisdom. And then the things followed. So, and that's what I was explaining to my husband the other day. It's about... I'm not living in fear just because I wear a mask. I'm living in wisdom because I really don't know. I don't have all the answers. I'm, I'm in the same boat you are. I'm not going to get on here and pretend like I have a magical solution and I can give you all the answers. I am not. But the one thing I can do is share with you what I've, I'm learning along the way. I can share with you how I am keeping it all together, mentally, physically, and spiritually during the unknown. Because, hey, look at it. I mean, we're living in a world of chaos right now. Not only do we have a virus, and we're living through a pandemic. Oh, my God, the pandemic of 2020. Not only that, but... um, I actually, um, I'm watching this car because if anybody parks near me, I'm going to roll up my windows. Not only am I, we're living through a pandemic, we're doing this during an election year? Oh my gosh, life is crazy. Absolutely insane. It's crazy. It's crazy. It's crazy. So...
The most I pray that you get out of my broadcast is encouragement that you can go on. That to refocus your energy on building a life during the pandemic, how to move on. I had to let go a long time ago of the way life was. It's gone. Because I have never in my life, and I tell my husband, every time I go out and I go in a store and everybody in the store is wearing a mask, it does something negatively to me mentally. Because that's not what we're used to in the United States. And I have to go home and I have to spiritually get refocused. Because it's the strangest thing to walk around the store and... Nobody's giving each other eye contact. You can't really tell people's expressions. And we all have our face covering on. Whether you agree with it or not. That's besides the point. It's, it's different. It's different. It's strange. It is. So, it's just very important that I make sure I take all my energy into building positivity and reassuring and and trying to figure out what's the next step in this life. And this thing called life, because um, it's changing rapidly. Um, The looters, the protesters, whatever you want to call them, the rioters, combination of them all, they're still out there and they're still wrecking havoc on other people's lives along with the virus. Never seen anything like it in my lifetime. So, if you, I find if I, I'll use I, if I focus on those things, the virus, the looters, the protest, and the election, we all will be a hot mess. No wonder people are so angry when somebody tells them to put on the mask. I've never seen such negative reaction to, to a definite bunch of people when we're just when people are just asking them to protect themselves and others, regardless if you agree with it or not. And that negative, angry, bitter violent reaction is coming from they're spending all their time feeding themselves negative angry bitter information through the radio through tv through just talking to each other about i don't even converse with that's not my conversation all day we all know what's going on we don't need to talk about it all day I don't need to listen to it all day. No, 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 no. So that's the key. Feeding yourself. Making sure of what you hear, what you speak, what you see, what you read. It's going to make you and your life better, not bitter. That means turn it off. Listen to your favorite music. You see what I do. I have to do projects all the time. I do. 
I'm into projects. I got so many projects going on that at the end of the night, I have fun. I, I write everything down. I have a list of my to-do list and I have fun seeing what I accomplished during the day. So between the knitting, houseplants, indoor, outdoor plants, uh, I've gotten back into my coloring art. Haven't pulled up the painting lately, no. And just decluttering little by little. That's a project in itself. Cleaning, maintaining my cats, and then my reading, my prayer, my meditation. You know, Well, I'm getting ready to turn on the air condition in the car while I wait for my husband. I enjoyed chatting. Just wanted to jump on while I'm sitting here waiting and checking in on you. And I hope you're okay. And I hope there's something I say in any one of my videos that encourages you to do it a different way. Do not wake up with the news. Do not go to bed with the news. I've gone days without the news. I watch a lot of YouTube videos on houseplants, um, expiration, van life, living off the grid, how to build a cabin. Those are the type of things I watch all day. And um, at the end of the day, I might peep at the news at a given time, I might peep at the news. I'm just, I keep looking in my rear view mirror just to see if I can see my husband coming out the door. You know, at the end of the day, um, I might get 10 minutes of news per day, maybe, or less. And that's by choice. I always tell my husband, the same with my husband, we're in agreement there. We're just, and we were news junkies. But now, you know, the news will cause you a lot of anxiety, health issues, mental issues. You know, so I hope there was something I said in my videos that help you just refocus your energy on positive things. When's the last, I mean, you could go room to room and declutter your house. For you guys that are Got a it's kids that are starting school and you're working from home. Your hands are full. Focus on that. Don't focus on the negative and how hard it can be. Focus on how easy you can make it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I leave you with that. You can do it. You're going to be okay. I'll be checking in with you a little later. I'm getting ready to turn the air conditioning on. It's hot. You guys have a blessed day. Okay. Bye.